Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's mail day again, and today's package comes from subscriber Rocky Johnson. So let's take a look at what I got. The complete series of Lancelot Link's Secret Chimp from the early 70s. I never saw this as a kid, but I think it's awesome. <laughs> Plus, I got season one and season two of one of my favorite 80s shows, ALF. Ha! Yeah! I kill me! I got some VHS tapes, this Iron Man clamshell, episodes of Lost in Space, and one of the all-time classic bad movies, The Incredible Two-Headed Transplant. <laughs> I own six different Weird Al albums on cassette, but I didn't have this one, Weird Al in 3D. I originally got this on vinyl in March of 1984. I got a 1981 book on cake decorating. I want to eat these. First purchased at a JC Penney for $1.50. One of the many things that I threw away in the 80s that I wish I had saved were books of SNH green stamps. Now, thanks to Rocky, I have two books full of them. 2400 SNH green stamps. I wonder what I could have redeemed this many for. Maybe a blender. One thing that I'm always interested in collecting is stuff from my favorite store when I was growing up, Hills Department Store. Rocky sent this Hills key tag. If you lost your keys, someone could mail this so you'd get them back. And he sent this Hills water bottle. Very cool, not something you'd find easily nowadays. And probably even harder to find, unused Hills price tags. Wow. But this is the oddest item yet that was rescued from a display at Hill's department store. This cassette tape was part of a talking and singing Douglas fir Christmas tree that was on display at the store. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! I'm Douglas fir, your personal guide to holiday celebration. Dick my limbs with streams of light. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season, trees look bright. Fa la 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 la. Don, Don we now our shiny, shiny needles. Fa la 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 la. Looking for dual Saint Nick. Fa la 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 la. That didn't rhyme, man. Bogus. I got a few keychains, including this Miller Lite football that's also a bottle opener. Matchbooks from Applebee's and the WHG Pittsburgh Steel Federal Credit Union. A bag slicer from the Steel Valley Regional Transit Authority. An ID holder from SV Transit. A token from the Steubenville, Ohio Bus Company. A $1 chip from the Mountaineer Casino in West Virginia. And two arcade tokens from Tilt. Here's something awesome that I never had. This is a Casio SK-5 sampling keyboard. It's way better than the earlier SK-1 model. How else could you have a disco beat with a dog tone and a laser gun sample? That's rock and roll. I also got an M-Audio fast track recording interface. I've used an iMic to record my last few albums, but I'd like to give this a shot for my new one. I got a bunch of guitar picks, including these picks promoting Rocky's band Shrouded and Neglect. I got a Shrouded and Neglect koozie and a sticker as well. And I got stickers for Mercury Magnetics and this Spectre Bass bumper sticker. And I got this cool Evil Dead painting that was done by the lead singer of his band. I got this 1978 Pocket Edition Scrabble game. It's quite small, so you take it anywhere to play this classic game. Check it out. Rocky sent me a couple of cameras. First, I have a JVC GR AX750 VHS C camera. Okay, let's plug this in and see how it looks. Well, what do you think? Is this better or worse than the camera I usually use? And he also sent us Sony DCR DVD 610 DVD Handycam. This camera films on tiny little DVDs like this. I don't have a way to hook it up to my VCR yet, but I think that all I need is a micro USB to RCA cable. And when I get that, we'll take another look at this camera. But there's still more. 
This is a 1970 Topps O.J. Simpson rookie card. It's likely the oldest football card that I own. This has got to be even older. It's a metal figure of a man on a motorcycle. I also got a homie. I don't have many of these. And I got a Toxic Crusaders Toxie figure. He's missing his accessories. Ah oh, well, give him a lightsaber. Wow, cool. A 1982 Masters of the Universe Manny Faces figure. This is now the first He-Man figure that I have. I'm Manny Faces with the power to change from man to robot to monster. Oh, no. Rocky also sent me his 1983 Masters of the Universe metal lunchbox. The art on this is awesome, and it still has the original thermos with it. Wow, look at this. This vintage Pac-Man wallet appears to be a one-of-a-kind handmade item. Which brings us to the video games that Rocky sent me. Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 4 for Game Boy Color. This looks like my kind of game. And for my Sega Dreamcast, he sent this mouse, this memory card, and this demo disc. And for the Wii, I got Pool Party, Ninja Reflex, Excite Truck, and Mini Desktop Racing. I have 36 Wii games at this point, and now I can finally start playing them. Rocky sent all the parts that I still needed, including the AV and power cables and the sensor bar. Okay, should I make the flan or should I make the minestrone? I think I'll, I'll make the minestrone. Yeah. Better than Mama. I did it better than Mama. Thank you so much, Rocky, for your generosity in sending me all of these things. I really appreciate it. And if you are into hard, heavy metal music, be sure to check out Rocky's band, Shrouded in Neglect. The link is below in the description. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube. How many sides does this thing have? Yeah.